Yo, what is going on guys? We are back in the Buccaneers franchise episode number 13. And uh, it's actually been a while since I have recorded. It's been a couple of days. I mean, it's whatever. No big deal for you guys. This is daily. But for me, it's been a while. So I got to just reestablish where I am. And uh, we're looking pretty good, actually. 10-1, 17-2. Uh, looking at my contracts here. Um, Levante David, from what I last recall, has been balling. And I want to sign him, but I keep forgetting that he's 30. And he's going to regress. So my plan is to sign him to a two-year deal. But I want to see how much he regresses first. Because he was at star dead when we had him. I mean, that was quick. But he's leading the league in picks right now. He's balling. So... We're going to wait till his regression's hit, and we're going to sign him. I just want to see how bad it is, but my plan is to sign him for a two-year deal. I just hope he accepts that. If not, we have Darren Lee's backup, so it's no big deal if we lose him, but I would like to use all three of them. Logan Ryan, uh, he's been all right. We might sign him again. Vinny Curry, we're going to let go because he's old. I mean, Logan Ryan's only 29, so I think we get him to two-year deal as well. Bo Scarborough, we got to sign because he has been a baller at fullback. He's only 23. We're going to offer him like four years at this contract. And can I actually go up a little bit? 1.1. 1. 1. Hmm. Let's go like 250. We'll do that. There we go. We got Bo Scarborough. There's a baller fullback for us, so I'll take it. Then we're going to take a look at the season stash just to see where everyone is right now. As you can see, Jeffrey Ernster, about the 25th best QB in the league. Tyro Massey is 12th in rushing, so you'll see he's top 12. Uh, receiving, not the best, but, um, you know, 17 TDs through 13 week, for, through 12 weeks, I'm surprised that is 27th in the league. Like, that, that's, that's crazy. Tyro Massey, though, um, 800 yards, 4 TDs, 5.2 a carry, that is solid. I'll take that anytime. Receiving, Chris Godwin's been balling, which I like, but we really got to get everyone else involved. He just, Chris Godwin's just always open, man. He's just really good at Madden. That's just all I can say. But, I mean, if you look at his stats, man, all around good. Good speed, good route running, good catching, good agility. He's even got good run after the catch ability. Like, all really good. Defense-wise, we have nine interceptions with Devontae David through 12 weeks or 11 games. So, that's really good. Quan Alexander's five. We got a lot of interceptions with the team. And we got six sacks on Noah Spence. So, that's good. Compared to the league, though, I want to see what Tyron Massey is compared to the rest of the league. Sort by NFL here. So, wow. Zeke is 1,200 yards, 5.7 to carry. Just want to see compared to other running backs here. So, Saquon's at 5.9 to carry. Groh is at 5.8 to carry. Zeke's at 5.7. Bell's at 5.6. 5.1s. Tyron Massey at 5.2. Okay. Passing yards. Phillip Rivers is leading the league in passing yards. Passing touchdowns is going to Baker Mayfield by a lot. Alright, so we're up against the Chiefs, who are 7 2 and 2. So this should be a good game. Uh, let's get to trading and scouting. If there's anything important, I'll show you guys in more events a week. Good. Ryan Mendoza, the third round pick, the big baller. Um, let me go with the slot for this one. 84 to 86. Wow, look at all those stats. Holy shit, plus two spins, short, catch traffic, catching deep route, losing his awareness, break, tackle. Oh, we need that deep route though, because he's low deep route running, but really good short and medium. Wow, he's already 44th in the week. This was probably the second best receiver in the draft, next to that Brendan Bassan guy. Oh, God. That is not a good start to this game. I was going to say, it's Thursday night. It's Color Rush Uties. I'm wearing the throwbacks because they're all white. So, here we go. Now we're down 7 nothing. We got to start the comeback nice and early. As we're looking for Harmon Velton right up the middle of the field. He's going to get a big game to start it off. Oh, we got Mendoza. Wide open on a slant. He's going to turn on the Jets. Make it first and goal. Second goal, gonna try another run play here. Tyron Massey diving into the end zone for a touchdown. Watch out for Travis Kelsey and Cream Hunt. This team is just all around pretty scary. So we just gotta be careful. 
Oh, we had a user pick. Oh, Austin Drayton with the user pick. Could we take that to the house? He has 84 speed. I don't know if he's going to get there. Oh, with the stiff arm. Bring it all the way to the 12. Play it by the second year linebacker, man. You know what? Maybe we could move on from Levante. But, I mean, dude, my linebacker's on the ball in this game. First and 10 for Tyra Massey. He's going to get a hole, and he's going to dive into the end zone for a touchdown. That was just a perfect call by me. They only had three down linemen, and the rest were uh, linebackers. So, of course, I was going to run that right up the middle. First and 10 for us. Travis Kelsey's going to get a catch. And for the Chiefs, not us. You know, the red uniforms are confusing me because I'm wearing red all year. And on first and 10, we're going to get a sack with Trayvon Ross. The pass rushing specialist. Third and 10 here. Right down the middle. Through the seam. Is someone named Curse. Is that Jermaine Curse? I don't know. Play action, first and 10. Oh, Jermaine Curse again. Breaking a tackle, bring it to first and goal. All right, we got third and goal. Stuffing on the run on two straight plays. The start of the second quarter. Mahomes is going to try and scramble. We're going to get a sack with Noah Spence, leading them to just a field goal. Second and 12. OJ Howard open in the flat. Going to try and cut a field, hurdling a man. Bringing it to third and one. He's going to try and bring it right up the middle. I think we got just enough. We probably know how to hear. No, we are short. I'm going to go for it anyway. Just going to try another run right up the middle here. Just going to try and make him jump, actually. I think we got them. First and 10. Fresh set of downs. Oh, we got Chris Godwin. Oh, no, we don't. We ran that route bad. No, we didn't. He hangs on. Jeffrey Ernst, they're 4 for 4 on the day. Oh, Mike Evans right down the middle of the field. Can he get... Through into the end zone. Yes, he can. And there's three minutes left in the second. They're calling a play action. Looking deep. A PA max protect. I'll give you that one. That was too easy. Quan Alexander with a nice spin. And we are just torching this Chiefs offense right now. Looking at the first down, though, obviously, because he doesn't want a first down. We got Chris Scott wide open on a slant. He's going to make it first and just about goal. Let's see if we can get going here. No, he is double covered. Going to look for OJ Howard. He makes the catch. And he's down at the one. Gonna try Mike Evans number one more time. 30 seconds left in the half. See if I can get it off to him. Throws it, and he's in for his 50th career touchdown. Oh, and there he goes! A kick return touchdown! Holy shit, we're firing all cylinders. Offense, defense, and special teams. All right, final score, 38 to 16. Great game all around by offense, defense, and special teams. Taking a look at the stats here. Jeffrey Ernst with a perfect QBR. 11 completions on 14 attempts, 200 yards, and 2 TDs. Didn't get a lot of yards because we had the shortened field for most of the game. Pat Mahomes, 15-24, 180, no TDs, and 2 picks. That is nice. That is nice. Rushing wise, 99 yards for Tyron Massey and two TDs. Receiving wise, four receptions for Chris Godwin, three with OJ Howard, two of Mike Evans for two touchdowns. All around really good. All around really good game. Chris Godwin's still getting the workload though in yards. Sacks, we got one with Gerald McCoy, one with Noah Spence, one with Trayvon Ross, and we got interceptions with Quan and Austin Drayton. You're going to put that into Agile. Going up from 84 overall. Plus one pass block, plus two finesse, and plus one run block finesse. Look at him. These first round O linemen have been balling for us. All right, so the way the standings are, there's four games left in the season, and we are four games ahead of the Falcons and the Saints at seven to five. We play the Saints this week and the Falcons next week. So by the looks of it, if we win just one more game, we clinch the division. So that would be great. Love back-to-back -back playoff appearances. We're currently number one in the NFL in the league. That made no sense. Number one in the NFL in the league. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, not even... Look at this. Easily number one in the NFC. Because you have AFC teams all over the place right here. And the Eagles are 8-4, and four, the next best team in the NFC. So the AFC is finally competitive with Brady gone.
about time. Um, won a super, won, lost the Super Bowl and retired because he's a little bitch. Um, as you can see, do we have any rewards from last week? No rewards from anyone last week. Kind of a damn shame. But let's get into this game. Kick the Saints' ass. Clinch the playoffs. Gonna put that into. Let's keep going to power because he is a power guy. Plus two plus pass block power. Plus one run block. So what's he working with now? 92 run block, 91 pass block. God damn. We'll an NFC Offensive Player of the Year again. No one on our team, but Defense Player of the Year, we probably have a couple candidates here. Levante David at number one. Quan at number two. And that's where we're at. Offensive Rookie of the Year, of course, is going to be Jeffrey Ernst there. There's no one else that's going to be near him at this point, man, because he is 11 and 1. Absolutely killing it. Ryan Mendoza at number four, though. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, Douglas Parry at number five. Although he did miss three games, it's still really clutch that he's in the top five. Best QB. Um, we have Jeffrey Armstrong at number six. That's actually really nice. Probably because of that amazing week he had last week. Uh, best RB. We don't have anyone there. Best wide receiver. Chris Gobbin, maybe? No, I'm surprised he's not there. Best O-line. Ali Marpet. CJ Dunn. And J Ryan Jensen. Wow. We got three in the top ten. Best D lineman. No one there. Best linebacker, Levante, David, and Quan. Best DB, Logan Ryan at number one. I don't know why he's number one, but I'll take it. He's our kicker in the top ten. Yes, he is. Matt Compass. Did some math loading into this game. They have Mitch Trubisky. When did this happen? They traded for Mitch Trubisky, and they still drafted a QB in the first round. That is insane. First and ten, though. First play of the game, Merrill Bogle just misses a pick and for some reason stops. And Ray Weathers gets to stop after a big game. Anyway, it's what I was trying to say is that doing the math here, if we win this game, we also clinch a first round bye because the Eagles are the next best team. Down three, and there'll be three games left whether they win or lose. So we can really use this win here because I'll take a first round bye with it. Third and eight here. See what they're gonna do. Throw to a dump off as Quan Alexander is laying the boomstick. Oh, it's a fake! Oh, Logan Ryan with the heads up. Let's go. Now, guys, I was looking at the bottom bar in during that punt, and then I realized it was fake, and I stopped the fake. Um, that Philly doesn't play; hasn't played their game yet. <laughs> they play. Uh, they play the Browns, who are 10 and 2. We are 11 and 1, so that's nice. But yeah, so the Eagles have a tough matchup. So hopefully they lose. And we punch a first round bye. First and 10 here. So we're gonna try and get a handoff. Could have gotten a lot more if my Gavin Tell just blocked, but it's all good. Just came up that if Tyron Massey gets 86 rushing yards this game, that'll give him a thousand on the year. So we're gonna try and look to do that as well. Second down though, gonna throw it to Mendoza here. Gonna dive, not gonna get enough for a first. Let's play second and seven. I'm thinking of a big home run hitter here. OJ Howard dropping the ball. I possession catch it and everything, you fuck. Third and seven here. Chris Godwin was open, but we got sacked by Cameron Jordan, who every time we play the Saints, he takes over these games. First and ten, we're going for the safety. We're taking full opportunities here. Fullback dive. Vita Vey stuffing it. Nine, two stuffed runs in a row. Going to try one more chance at a safety. We're not going to get it, but we did kind of screw them over. We're going to punt. Second and nine, though. Oh, we got my guns on the slant. If we can just wait a few more seconds. But Cameron Jordan yet again. Start of the second quarter, we got third and 15. We canceled the play action here. And I'm going to hope for the best in this play. See what we got. See, we got Mike Evans right down the middle of the field. Hanging on. Bringing us closer and closer to glory. If he just, if I get the right formation. Just going to throw it to him right now. He's going to catch it, and he's going to dive into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, Jay Howard. First play is a play action. And we're going to get a sack with Vita Bay. Gain on second down. We now got a third and 13. Line up in a shotgun formation. Two guys close on the left side. He's gonna look right down the middle of the field. Nicholas Bags. 
Running first down. Oh my god, I did another fake! I wasn't even looking! I didn't hear the boot, so I look over my screen and I just see the ball being thrown. Why are they calling fakes? Mike Evans on a slant, and he drops it. Are you kidding me? Tongo, he's wide open down the middle of the field. Abusing that cover, too. I'm gonna get all the way to the red zone. I'm gonna, fog. I'm gonna try to slant to Mendoza here. If not, I might be able to get it in with OJ Howard. Oh, uh, no, we're gonna give it to Massey, who's just short of the end zone. Letting the clock chew here, not even using the timeout. I know Ronald Jones hasn't got production in a while. He's had some cold feet lately, but we'll give him the ball for once. Let the speed demon get into the end zone. All right. Start of the second half, and looks like they kicked a field goal. That's all right. We're gonna try and get some rushing yards, and we're gonna get it right here with Tyron Massey. There we go. What's he at? 45. We need 86 to break a thousand. Second and 11. Oh, Chris Godwin wide open on a slant. There we go. Big gain. Third and 10. After two stuffs on run plays. Mendoza on a slant. Oh, he's gonna be just short. We're gonna take the points. They got no one in the backfield. Probably gonna be guarding Hill on this play. And look for the dump off here. Could Quan get Martavis Bryant just before the first? And he does. Alright, this punt really screws us over. We're down to three. But we need Tyron Massey to get some rushing yards, that's for sure. And he's gonna get some. Slowly trying to get to 86. Mendoza on a nice pass play. He's going to fall down. Gain 10 yards. Start of the fourth quarter and it's third and seven. We need a first down here. This be a big first down. We got it. Oh, we got OJ Howard. We dive forward. And we can't. Whoa! That was a crazy illegal hit after the play. We're fourth and one and we're going for it. We're going to try and get him to jump at least. See if I can get it. Seem like it. I kind of want to go with the play, though. I'm going to go with it. Fourth and one. Tyron Massey breaking through and getting a big gain. Fourth and one. If we get this first down, we win the game. If not, we'll take the points and probably win the game from there. But we'll see what happens. We call Roman Massey. He's going to get through and he's going to get down to the two. That's ending the game, though. All right. Final score 17 3. Kind of a boring game. I'm not going to show much of it, but. Jeffrey Ernst there again, man. Being laser accurate. 212 and a TD. I'll take it. Tyron Massey, not really good on the ground, but we did get 70 yards for him. That's that's acceptable for me. Catches. Mike Evans getting some catches. OJ Howard getting the touchdown. And we did get that kick return touchdown, too. Sacks wise, again, very boring game. Nothing really happened on offense both ways. It was more of a special teams game for us. So there we go. We clinched the division. We're going to advance the week to see if we clinch the conference because then if we did we'll probably just sim the rest of the season and play the playoffs in the next episode so let's find out right now so the falcons did lose so we definitely clinched the division now three games left we're up five so that is great and sorting it by nfc here eagles did win however we definitely clinched the first round by so i think that's all i'm going to take i don't really care about home or away so i'll probably just sim the rest of the season and next episode, we'll get into the playoffs. So you see, there's a lot of seven-win teams. God damn. It's a very competitive conference, aside from me. <laughs> so, very competitive NFL season, actually. Every team's doing pretty decent. No one's really out of the playoff picture yet with three games remaining. Especially in our division, too. You got 7-6-1, seven, 7-6-1, six, one, seven, six, one, and 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. So any of those teams can still make it. So... They actually did update Madden, and I did just see a French uh, Heisman winner, and it goes to Montre Hale. So let's take a look at his stats. Montre Hale right here, 15th overall in the draft. Currently the 19th and the 32nd. Would not mind having him. Maybe we could let Levante David go and draft Montre Hale with the 15th overall pick. I mean, we could, we could trade both those picks and move up a couple spots to ensure that we get Montre Hale. Run him, Darren Lee, and Quan Alexander if we don't win the Super Bowl this year. 
Because if we win the Super Bowl, I don't know if I'm going to keep going with the series. Maybe. I mean, like, the whole point is to win the Super Bowl, we win the Super Bowl, so it's over. But, if we don't win the Super Bowl, then there we go. Montre Hale will be our pick. But yeah, guys, I think it's going to end this episode. So, we clinched first round bye, so we'll probably sim the rest of it. And next episode, we will go into the divisional playoff round. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff down below. And I'll see you in the next one.